What's good guys? It's your boy Josh and Jay coming to you with another car video. Listen, this is what it's like to be a select man. This is things that you will experience as a handsome man, as a select man. And pay attention guys, it's a complete package thing. And you know, you can either be a very attractive dude, like you've worked on your look, your face, but this is what I'm talking about right now, guys. When you've got your body into the best shape you can or your body is just in the top 10% of men, you know what I mean? And you've worked on your, your just your whole aura, guys. Women notice. Women notice, you know, dudes notice, but they're gonna bring you like hater vibes. They're gonna be mate guarding their women, all types of things. Women are just gonna start acting completely different. If you do a self you know, improvement journey. Guys, once you reach like the other side, you're gonna notice, hey, I don't have to try as hard. I don't have to even pay attention to chicks. I don't even have to really, you know, I just act as if, and you just see women acting just all types of ways. You know what I mean? Here's, a, here's an example, guys. When women act extremely nervous around you, guys, it's almost as if, you're not even trying hard. They're going to come to you and just say things that make absolutely no sense. Like, for instance, at my job, you know, there's condiments on the side, like ketchup, hot sauce, mayonnaise. You can just take it. And guys, this, you know, I've been there for almost a year. I'm pretty sure these people have been working there, you know, longer than that. So, you know that you could take the ketchup, but they'll come up to me and be like, hey, I'm taking some ketchup. I'll be like, okay. They'll be like, you sure it's okay? I'm like, it's okay. Thank you so much, sweetie. Smiling and stuff. And I'm just like, no, no, no. See, that's not regular. But for any other person, they would think, oh, she's just being polite. It's like, no, 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 no. Guys, when you're very quiet, when you go to your job, when you're out and about, right? Not that you're looking standoffish, but when you're very, very quiet and observant, self-aware, you speak when spoken to, but you never make it a big deal. Like you're never... Oh, super excited to see a female. She's looking at you like, what the hell is wrong with you? Because you're attractive, but get it like this. Women have no choice but to categorize you into every other dude because a lot of men act the same. So where you would think like, you know, she should know I'm him. Yeah, she knows you're him, but she needs it to be confirmed. So when you're not giving women this extra attention, this extra validation, they're going to look at you like, what the hell is wrong with you? She knows, but she's still confused. Like, because here's the thing. She might interact with another handsome man that doesn't know his worth. Guys, this is what I mean. There's a lot of dudes who, you know, will play the part, but not have everything going on. So they don't even realize their worth so they're giving away free attention but when you're a select dude and you're very self-sufficient you might be a hard i said this in my last video guys you're gonna be a hard worker so i notice these interactions i get at work i'm very hard working i focus on the job i try to get in and out but women are always trying to position themselves in front of me you know what I mean? Or I'll walk past and stay in a certain area on purpose and just observe. Women start getting extremely sexual with their body. They start contorting. They start arching their back, you know, putting their hair up. All of a sudden, their hair was perfectly fine. Now they're putting it up, arching their back, doing all this stuff, right? Guys, here's another example. So I'm coming in to my job and I have to stock things in the stock room. So the bathrooms are on this side, right? So as I'm walking to this side, I peep. There's, this is the lady I was probably talking about in my other video, BBL body. BBL body like this is the the type of chick that dudes are the passport bros are like going to Dominican Republic for like to try to marry like this right so I go I come I come out the room she's going into the bathroom but like walking past with a chick and she bumps her like she bumps her like look, look, look. but like smiling and you know what's funny about that story this lady is married with kids like this shit don't stop guys when you're select and attractive, like women can't help it. It doesn't matter. It does not even really matter the dynamics, what they got going on. Nothing. It doesn't matter, guys. So after that scenario, I'm coming out the bathroom today at my job. Tell me how she is perfectly positioned in front of the bathroom door. Hand on hip, eyes poking out with her girl. But like talking to her, acting like, guys, why would you stand right there in front of the men's bathroom to talk and have a conversation? Because women are always watching you, even when you think they're not. So they'll be plotting to put themselves in front of you. 
they'll be literally waiting till you're by yourself guys pay attention you could be you know with a group of people or you could be moving they will literally wait for you to be stopped to make their move guys that's a couple of things like you're going to experience women position themselves and they make it extremely easy for you right and when you're trying to get out of female guys you do not have to do too much remember that you never have to do too much when you're handsome and select you're going to notice women falling on themselves or you're going to catch women looking at you either look away nervously like oh she caught me or this is when you know no guys when you look like when you're just minding your business and you'll just lock eyes with a chick and she won't look away like it'll take two seconds she'll look away and then look back at you again guys you are you're select there's no other way to put it you're select because a woman is not looking at a man like yo he's ugly as hell i want this ugly ass dude to come approach me like or it's something about this ugly dude no you ugly she don't want to look at you just know that guys and here's another thing right Women are going to try to come up to you and give you hella compliments, right? But here's the thing. There's female players too. Always remember that. That's a big indicator. But when a woman is constantly complimenting you and you're not overly excited about you, like you're not overly excited about her compliment, but you know, you're not being an asshole either. Like you're taking it. But when she just keeps coming and coming and coming and coming to the point where you're like, you know what? This don't even make me feel good about myself because listen, you're going to make women extremely nervous. So a lot of women who are like the nines, eights and sevens, they will be attracted to you, but they're going to have a good poker face, but you're going to have to read between lines. But here's another thing. The ones that are going to make it obvious as hell are women that have no business even looking at you like that. Women that should know like, oh, he's not even in my, you know, he's not even in my atmosphere. Like we're not on the same wavelength. Like, no, these women are going to be extremely delusional. And you're going to be like, what? What? You think? Hold on. Let me try to figure this out. Right. Guys, it's not like it's not going to make you feel good about yourself. But at the same time, you here's the thing, right? You want to be standoffish about it, but you don't want to be an asshole, you know, because it's really nothing to gain there, but you want to be stern. There's this one woman that I see in passing all day and she cannot help but give me the eyes. And I do everything to throw signals at her. Like you're tripping. You are tripping. Like, do not do that because guys, it just, it's mind boggling to me how you can self-improve and get yourself to this level of being select, being a handsome ass dude, right? And women who do not put in the same work will look at you and think that they deserve you. Guys, you're going to go through this, but it's not really a big deal. But I just wanted to throw that out there. Like a lot of unattractive women are going to be pining for your attention. They're going to be making it obvious while the sevens, the eights, the nines, right? They're going to literally be, you know, positioning themselves or trying to act like you're not a big deal. Trust and believe women find you attractive even when they're trying to act like you're a ghost. That's why they do it, guys, because they don't want to give you that attention because women are very insecure. So when you're a select handsome man in the spot, she knows that like her number one way to compete and get by in life, like to get ahead is with her looks. You understand that, guys? So when you're a man who is attractive to her, she knows like, OK, I got to compete with this man. I, I got to compete for this man. I got to compete to get his attention because obviously a lot of dudes don't walk around like this so if he even if he's not aware of his own worth i'm pretty sure this guy catches a lot of attention you know what i mean so you always got to remember that they're going to act like you're not there sometimes like women are going to be high interest and then still try to act like they're not high interest i'm gonna put this in another video but here's another thing you're going to experience women will actually play games with you women will purposely try to come steal validation off of you or you might make a cold approach you might or you might make an approach right a chick is really acting like she's feeling you but the whole time in her head she just wants to get the attention of like yo i can pull a dude like this but i don't want to really give in to this dude because a he's gonna turn me out you know b he's gonna turn out to be like every other guy like that i've dealt with like a liar but in this case i'm gonna be sprung so I'm going to get double fucked over or three. I'm just not ready and equipped to deal with this type of dude because this type of dude, guys, if you open your mouth and your words match your look and you're very dominant, very masculine, 
She's going to be like, yo, I can't play with this dude. She's going to eliminate herself, but still pride herself off of like, yo, I got the attention and I know I could pull a dude like that. So guys, never try too hard. If a woman wants to play games with you like that, just back away because guys, as a handsome man, she knows you, it's, it's, a, it's a wrap because she knows you're going to get attention. You're going to move on anyway. So, you know, let her get off her little game. But don't even participate. Let her play with herself. Remember that, guys. They're going to try to steal validation off of you because, guys, you shine like a celebrity. There's no other way to put it, honestly. And when you're a handsome, select dude, unless you're doing something that you love, guys, that's why I started this channel. Like, you know what I mean? Get on fitness. Get on something. Do something that you can make money off of, like being yourself, because you're literally a whole brand, guys. Look around. When you look around, guys don't take care of their skin. Guys don't take care of their fitness, like their physical. Guys don't really take care of their mental. Everybody's pretty much, for the most part, doing the same thing. So when a woman sees you, she's like, yo, this dude is different. You get what I'm saying, guys? And men even be, like, men know you're the shit. Men hate you. Like, the men will, other men will hate on you because, guys, you stand out. It's straight up, like, guys' insecurities come out. You ever be in a spot, right? And like you just come in and a guy instantly start hugging on his girl. Instantly put his hands around his girl. And you're like, why'd you do that? Because I'm not even looking at her. Like, you know, I'm not even trying to entertain anything, like give off any signals. And you will see guys literally going out their way to, you know, either cover their girl's ass in the gym. Just doing weird ass goofy shit to the point where you're like, yo, I must be him. I must be him because I'm not even throwing signals that I'm interested, right? And he still feels like I could take his girl. Or he still feels like his girl's looking at me. You understand, guys? And guys are gonna bring you weird energy, like aggressive energy. Like, you know, like this, or like looking at you like mean mugging. But here's the part, guys. This is why I say every man gotta, you know, know how to defend himself and never be passive. Cause I'll be checking a lot of that shit. And it's funny. These dudes are not even tough. These dudes are not tough because they're looking at you like, okay, he must think he's a fucking pretty boy. And they will still try you even when you're ripped up and cut up, guys. So you got to make it known like, nah, this ain't that. And this is not what you want. And you don't even really have to say it. You just throw energy back, guys. They're going to get the gist of it. And if it has to get physical, it's never going to get physical because like, yo, bro, you bring an energy to me and I don't know you. So like, get the fuck out of my face or like, yeah, we could do that. But like, for what? You know what I mean? Like dudes are weird as hell. You could just be minding your own business and dudes just come and bring you this energy as if like, you know, I know that you're cold. I want to come over here and ask you how you got so cold, but my insecurities is really telling me to act out right now. So I'm going to just bring this weird ass energy to you. Like I know you from somewhere like you did something wrong to me. Here's the thing about them too. They think that you think that you're better than them or you're walking around like you're cocky and you're the shit. No, no, no. My physique makes like lets me walk like this, bro. This isn't an act. And if you worked on your physique, you will understand that. So it's like the psychology of it. You just got to let haters hate. But that's the shit you're going to experience. Like you're going to experience. And even in the workplace, like you might have a boss right you might have a co-worker colleague something even your friends can be haters right but like they'll say things to you like oh what's that shirt a size medium knowing damn well you look good in the shirt but they just got to get that little shit off like you know what i mean like oh shit what's up bro like you're doing 100 push-ups today or what like it, it, it's like it's kind of it makes no sense they'll try to like come at you for bettering yourself but that's just what you're going to experience because they know that you're him Always remember that, guys. When people bring you weird energy, they know that you're him. It's your boy, Justin J. Get with you boys in the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go, boys. Let's go.